What are your thoughts on Xbox versus PlayStation? Which one do you prefer? Yeah. Well, I have a very bold view on this. I think that the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox series that are out now are going to be the last console games we ever see. I think we won't see another generation of video game consoles. I know that sounds really weird because most people are like, but what about the PS6? The reason that's going to happen is because there's a very big movement going on for all game processing to go into the cloud. Uh, I guess you have some idea what I mean by that, but it's a kind of server side gaming. So all the heavy lifting that goes into processing graphics and where bullets are flying and you know, how, how ray tracing, how light is falling on objects, all the heavy processing that goes into today, today's top end games, are all going to happen on a server side and not on the side where you are. So the device that you're using to play your game will, will, will be very, very weak. It won't be strong and more and more powerful the way they've made consoles at the moment. At the moment, they're making gaming PCs and consoles more and more powerful in order to play more and more complex games. But in the future, all the processing for those games are going to happen on the server side. And so you will be able to play that game on your phone, on a tablet, on a TV, or on just about any device with a screen, because that device won't have to do any of the heavy processing. It will just have to show the picture of what's going on in the game. It won't have to do the processing. I don't know if you can follow what I'm saying there. And as a result, it almost doesn't matter anymore whether it's PlayStation or Xbox going forward, because neither of them are going to matter. What's going to matter is what device do you want to play on? Do you want to play on a phone? Do you want to play on a laptop? Do you want to play on a TV? Do you want to play on a tablet? Your, your end device, your client side device is the only thing that's really going to matter. And there, the processing power won't be important. It'll be the screen quality. And most important of all will be the internet connection. So the processing power of your gaming rig won't matter at all in the future. That's very important for Africa and South Africa, where very few people can afford to buy a 12,000 Rand video game console or 20,000 Rand, 30,000 Rand, you know, gaming computer. Very few people can afford to do that. But once all the processing is happening on the server side, then everybody with a phone can play Call of Duty because they, you know, you don't need a high degree of processing power to do it. So the trick with consoles is there's no better console. They're both fantastically good. They're almost identical in every way. What you want to do is get what your friends have because in console gaming today, the only thing that matters is the ability to network with your friends. So, you know, which console is better is completely irrelevant. What you want is what your friends have. That's what you need to get in console games. The only thing that sucks with, uh, with PlayStation is they have some exclusive games that you need down there. Yeah, and so does Xbox. And uh, the big fight has been about who has the best exclusive games. But again, it just won't matter in the future. So right now, for example, uh, take a game like Fortnite. You, you know, you can play on your phone, on your tablet, on your PC, and all of you play against each other. It actually doesn't matter what platform you're on. They made it completely platform agnostic. And so if you make a game that only works on PlayStation, you've basically cut your chances of getting people to play your game in half, you know, because your game will only play on one platform and the biggest games of the future will, will not care what platform you're on, like Call of Duty. So, you know, those exclusives are kind of really interesting, but only today and now, in the future, exclusives won't matter anymore. When you play video games, do you prefer using a PC or a console? Oh, uh, definitely a PC. I mean, this is easy for me to say because I have access to lots and lots of great hardware, so I don't really have to pay any of the expense. If I was a parent, though, if I was a parent and I was buying for my children, I would probably get a console. PC gaming is very, very expensive, or it can be very, very expensive because you constantly have to be updating and fixing and maintaining that gaming rig that you're on. Part of PC gaming is, be, is to be able to upgrade continuously. That's the whole point of PC gaming. So even if you start off cheaply, it gets very expensive over time. Whereas with a console, there's no maintenance required. You know, once you turn it on, it doesn't matter what game goes in there, they all play equally well because they were designed to play on that particular hardware rig. So it's more expensive paying for that PlayStation today, but you're going to pay once for that PlayStation and you're not going to have to keep paying. With a PC, you might start your PC at 10,000 Rand today, but over the next few years, you're going to spend five, 6,000 Rand every year on keeping that PC going. 
So my advice to parents who have younger children, just get a console. It's trouble free. Everything just plays. Get the one that all your, your, your child's friends have all the, you know, then they will all network and play together. If you've got someone who's a bit more mature, a bit more serious kind of gamer, PC gaming probably better because you can tweak your machine a lot more and you can upgrade it over time. So that's roughly how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I, I can use PCs because I have access to the latest and greatest stuff all the time. But also I'm a terrible gamer, really, really terrible. I got really old and my reflexes got really slow. So I just play slow paced games now. I'm busy colonizing Mars at the moment in my, my Mars strategy game. Yeah, that's the level at which I play. <laughs> As long as you enjoy yourself. Yes, exactly. 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 That's the main point. Doesn't matter who's got better kit as long as you're enjoying yourself. Exactly. The one thing that's cool about PC is that you can play all the games. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Do you play all the games? Yeah, sometimes. Because I like some games that I grew up playing on, like The Simpsons Hit and Run and the old skate games I like to play. I also like to play some new stuff as well. Yeah, I must say some of the old skate games are really fantastic, like Skate 3, I think. The physics in that game were amazingly ahead of its time, you know. Most skate games are only catching up to that today. Yeah, I, I have got a nostalgic thing to play old games. I play a lot of old games, though I have to say that sometimes you play them and you go, geez, this is really awful. You know, you kind of, you think you want to play these old games and after like 10 minutes, you're like, oh my goodness, this is truly awful. And then you leave it, you know, um, there's like a nostalgia around it. But sometimes you do get disillusioned because, you know, games have progressed so far from where they were that old games often really don't look great at all and don't even play well. But there is a nostalgia that makes you want to recapture a great experience you used to have, yeah. True. Do you qualify gaming as a sport? Because I've heard they're trying to get it into the Olympics. No, very much so. I do, I do consider it a sport. I consider it a very serious sport. And if you do the numbers, you'll see that there's more money going on in esports than most of the sports that are at the Olympics today. So people are taking it very, very seriously just because there's so much money involved. And of course, money is what makes the thing go around. It's just unbelievable amounts of money in esports, billions and billions. I think currently $1 trillion is being spent in esports worldwide wow. every year. You know, compared to things like long jump and marathon running and other things, you know, where a trillion dollars is just unthinkable. So I think we will see uh, video games move into, into a more formal kind of gaming arena like the Olympics over time. I hope that still means it's cool. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Yeah. If chess is classified as an Olympic sport, why can't gaming? For example, yeah. Well, it's, it's human skill. You know, it's a test of human skill. As long as it's a test of human skill, I guess it should qualify, you know. I guess it's, it's maybe not a test of their athletic ability. But I think things like the Olympics were founded when they didn't have anything digital in the world. They only could only assess human beings by their physical skills and not by their cognitive skills or their brain power or anything else. Now we can assess people by lots of other criteria as well, like brain power and, and reflexes and so on. So it would be, I think, worthwhile having eSports in a more formal kind of sporting arena, definitely. The one thing about gaming is that I've noticed is it's easy to get famous for gaming because all you need to be is like entertaining while you play, you don't need to be good compared to all the other sports you have to be good you have to be good in order to get famous if you understand what i'm saying yeah but what i've also noticed is that if you get famous very quickly your light only burns brightly for a very short time and then you're gone you know whereas if you um say in vault and you know you run 100 meters for like 10 years and you dominate the sport you can be famous but how many uh, consider the esports teams. How many of them are famous for more than three or four years? Very few. They get replaced by new players all the time. You know, the teams and the individuals, very few individuals are at the top of the game for more than three or four years before they get replaced by other people. So, you know, it's easier to become famous much faster, but it's harder to stay there because everybody's chasing you all the time. It's more competitive almost. True. Yeah.